Okay, well now back to our winter storm coverage right now. This is a live look in Temple where it's starting to have be some freezing drizzle in the area. Those road conditions are going to get worse throughout the day. So let's head over to meteorologist Ashley Carter right now to give us an update on this weather forecast. Hey, Ashley, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, winter storm warning for all of central Texas has been extended through Thursday morning. That is really kind of the earliest time frame where we're going to see most of the shower activity be just plain rain and we'll finally say goodbye to that freezing rain for the area. We still got a ways to go before we get to do that as light freezing drizzle right now popping up on radar scattered across the area and it's going to impact those already slick spots that we're seeing as with freezing rain. That type of wintry precipitation is rain that freezes on contact and with these temperatures below freezing, we can start to see some ice accumulation today. Temperatures below freezing for most of the area. The only spot above freezing College Station 34 degrees. So this is mainly what we've been seeing here over the last day. Just that light freezing drizzle really haven't picked up much accumulation except for on those elevated surfaces, including our sky camera where you can see that lens is frozen over. Bridges have been impacted already. We've um, got reports of a few accidents as well as on overpasses, and that is because that light freezing drizzle has mainly only impacted those high elevated surface. That is going to change as we head into your Tuesday with this freezing rain continuing to pick up throughout the morning and the early part of the afternoon for most of the area. Now for our eastern zones, most of this is just going to stay plain old rain. And with this additional round of freezing rain, this is when we could start to see the ice accumulate on some of those surface roads that have not been treated. This is why we've been saying all morning long, very important to avoid hitting the roads if you can. Now, as we head into the afternoon, highs really going to struggle to even get to the freezing mark today. We do see a slight lull in activity, but we are not done just yet. This is a multi day event. They get another round of that freezing rain come Tuesday night into your Wednesday morning, and road conditions will be hazardous during this time. As you can see, once we get that additional round of freezing rain, temperatures still are going to be below freezing, which is going to any additional rain that we see on the roads is just going to refreeze. As we head into your Wednesday afternoon, we're going to start to see most of this freezing rain turn into mostly showers, though we really can't completely say goodbye to the freezing rain until we get into your Thursday morning. Some of our northwestern zones may still be seeing some travel impacts with temperatures below freezing there, but pretty much all across central Texas by six o'clock when this winter storm warning is set to expire will be above the freezing mark just by a couple of degrees as temperatures are as this rain starts to move out by your Thursday morning. We get back to that cloudy picture. Still going to be cold for your Thursday, but we're going to start to see temperatures are those road conditions improve as those temperatures get above the freezing mark again today. Avoid travel if you can drive slowly. If you do have to head into work today, also have an alternate route. Again, those surface roads are going to begin to be impacted. They're going to be your safest options other than those bridges and overpasses that have already been slick over the last several hours. They're only going to continue to get worse with this additional round of freezing rain. When we get the sunshine back, got to wait till the end of the work week and we get more seasonable temperatures for your weekend.